Hi guys, I hope you are all doing well. Let's see today's question. So today's question, we are taking this up from the topic of differential equations. And if I talk about the question which is given to us here from this topic, the question tells us that the differential equation whose solution is ax square plus by square equals one, where a and b are arbitrary constants is of so first answer choice it is given to us as second order and first degree for second option it is telling us first order and second degree third it is telling you first order and first degree and the last answer choice first order and first degree and the last answer choice it tells us second order and second degree so we need to figure out which one of the answer choice is the correct answer for the order and degree of a differential equation whose solution is given to us as ax square plus by square plus equals to one so first of all when the solution is given to us in terms of a and b we need to eliminate this A and B by differentiating this entire solution. So if I try to <clears throat> find the differential equation by differentiating it, AX square plus BY square equals one. I need to eliminate both the constants A and B here to get the differential equation. So let's say this is my equation one. If I differentiate this entire equation with respect to X, so differentiating with respect to x. Now why we are differentiating? Because if you have a differential equation, you separate the variables and integrate to get the constant or the solution of the differential equation, which will have the constants in it. But now here we have been given the solution and we need to find the differential equation. So we are going in the opposite sense. So instead of integrating the differential equation, we are differentiating the solution to get the differential equation. So if I see a derivative of x square, it is 2x. Derivative of y square, it is 2y dy by dx and derivative of 1, which is 0. So you get two common here, ax plus by dy by dx <coughs> equals to 0. So you get ax plus by dy by dx equals 0. So you get this after differentiating this entire equation or the solution one time. So that becomes, let's say, a second equation. ax plus by dy by dx equals to 0. Now, if I differentiate this also further, I get a into derivative of x, which is 1. So a plus b and y into dy by dx. So to differentiate that, if I use the product rule y, derivative of dy by dx is d2y by dx square plus derivative of y, which is dy by dx and dy by dx as it is, it is equal to zero. So you get a plus b y d2y by dx square plus dy by dx, the whole square it's equal to zero. So this becomes your third equation. <clears throat> now to get the differential equation, we need to eliminate the constants which are present that is A and B. So to eliminate it, what I can do is from the equation three, I can write the value of A as minus B and the whole bracket Y D two Y by DX square plus DY by DX the whole square. So once I have this A, I can put this in my previous equation in terms of A. So if I put it in my previous equation in terms of A, my new equation becomes minus B 
d2 y d2 y by dx square plus dy by dx the whole square. So this is your a into x plus b dy by dx. Right? So you have b y also with dy by dx equals a. So you get this entire thing. Now you see here b is also common. So you take out b. You get minus xy d2y by dx square minus x dy by dx the whole square plus y dy by dx so taking b common equals to c so if you divide both sides by b here your b goes on the other side and gets divided with zero so zero divided by b is zero and you get this entire equation here and if you are dividing it both sides by b or let's say you are dividing both sides by minus one as well together so changing the sign of all of these expressions you get xy d2y by dx square minus x dy divided by dx the whole square uh, plus sorry because we are dividing by minus one as well and minus y dy by dx that is equal to zero and from here you get this differential equation. So this becomes a differential equation which you get from the solution which is given to you in the question that is ax square plus by square equals one. So from here you get this differential equation. Now once you get this differential equation, we just need to figure out the order and the degree. So order is nothing but the first or I should say the highest derivative present in the entire equation of the differential equation. So if I see the highest order present, the highest derivative present is of d2y by dx square. So the highest order is 2. And then we have been asked to find the degree. So degree is nothing but the power of the highest derivative. So since highest derivative is 2, the power of this is nothing given here. So it is basically 1. So the highest order is 2 and the degree for the highest derivative, that is power of the highest derivative, that is 1. So you get order two and degree one for this question. And if you see the answer choice that matches here, it is second order and first degree. So your answer in this question is option A. So A becomes the correct answer for the question given to us. I hope you have understood how to solve this type of questions, which deals with the ideas of finding the order and the degree of a differential equation. So we had our solution given of the differential equation. So we go in the opposite sense of solving the differential equations and instead of integrating, now we differentiate it with respect to x. So we got with first derivative this entire equation. Then we again differentiated it and solved it further. So we got this entire differential equation. So once we got this, we tried to eliminate both the constants a and b. So from three, I wrote a in terms of b and put that in equation two. So that gave me this entire differential equation and once i got that i just got the order and the degree so order is nothing but the highest derivative you are taking that is d2y by dx square and degree is nothing but the power of the highest derivative that is one so you get order two as well as degree one for this question and that matches with option a so a becomes the correct answer for the question given to us I will see you again tomorrow with some another video from some other topic. And we are going to continue our series of questions on JWE mains. So stay tuned for more videos to roll out. Also, if you are enjoying the videos that we are doing every day, please do like the videos and support on my channel. If you also subscribe to my channel and do share these videos with your friends also who are involved in the preparation of questions on JWE. So they can also take the benefit from these questions which we are solving on everyday basis. See you tomorrow with one another video. Thank you.